when you look at the words that we are taught to say by the Prophet ﷺ, when we are sad, who here doesn't experience moments of sadness? Who here has never battled it out with a sin? Who here was never in a relationship and he struggled to cut out that relationship? Who? Who was never financially bankrupt? We have experienced one or the other. What is the words? What are the words that we are to say when we are in pain? They are words of dhul, humility and iftiqar to Allah. Subhanallah al -Azim. How much Allah loves these words. As Ahmad narrates in his musnad on the authority of Ibn Mas'ud. That the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, مَا قَالَ عَبْدٌ قَطُّ إِذَا أَصَابَهُ هَمٌ أَوْ حَزْنٌ There isn't any Muslim who is afflicted with grief, sadness or sorrow. And he says the following words. What are the words? Listen, Ikhwan, and memorize them. اللهم إني عبدك Oh Allah, I am your slave. Ibn عبدك Ibn أمتك I am the son of your slave and the son of your female slave. So you are saying, oh Allah, I'm a slave. Oh Allah, I am your slave. The son of your slave, the son of your female slave. I am a slave. My mother's your slave. My dad's your slave. My forelock is in your hands. Yeah, we hate to be grabbed by this part of our body and pulled because it's the highest part of your body. It's humiliating to be pulled like this. You are saying, Ya Rabbi, this forelock of mine is it's in your hands. Your command over me will be executed. Your judgment over me is always fair. I ask you, O oh Allah, by every one of your names, which you have called yourself, or you have revealed this name in your book, or you, have, you had taught it to one of your slaves, or you had kept the knowledge of this name to yourself, what do you want? What do you want, O oh slave? And taj'ala al-Qur'an rabi'a qalbi. I ask you, O oh Allah, to make the Qur'an the life of my heart. Wa noora sadri and the light of my chest. Wa jala'a husni and the removal of my sadness. Wa dhahaba hammi and a departure from my anxiety. The Prophet says, anybody who says these words, Allah will remove his anxiety and replace it with happiness. The companions, they said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, we should memorize these words. He says, Ajal, liman an Every person who hears these words should memorize them. But what is the secret here? The secret is that these are words of dhul and humility and declaring your bankruptcy to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why Allah Almighty will answer. Focus with me, ya ikhwan. Have you ever pondered over the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ tells us that Allah is with the, with the ill person? Have you ever thought about this one as Imam Muslim narrates in his Sahih? A strange hadith which will surprise you at first when you hear it. The Messenger ﷺ says, Allah Almighty will say to one of his slaves on the day of standing, Ya ibn Adam, مَرِطُّ فَلَمْ تَعُدْنِي O son of Adam, Allah is saying to one of his slaves, O son of Adam, I fell ill and you didn't visit me. Subhanallah. The slave will say, Oh Allah, وَكَيْفَ أَعُودُكَ وَأَنْتَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ Oh Allah, how, how am I to visit you when you are the Lord of the worlds? What does Allah say? Huh? He says, أَمَا عَلِمْتَ أَنَّ عَبْدِي فُلَانَ مَرِضْ فَلَمْ تَعُدْهُ أَمَا عَلِمْتَ أَنَّكَ لَوْ عُدْتَهُ لَوَجَدْتَنِي عِنْدَهُ Oh my slave, didn't you know that slave such and such became ill and you didn't visit him? Had you visited him, you would have found me, Allah, with him. Ibn Qayyim, rahimahullah, mentions in his book, Madariju Salikin, why is it that Allah Almighty is with the ill person? He says, He says, because the heart of this ill person is broken. He's weak. This heart, this, this ill person is humble to Allah, therefore Allah is with him. Yeah? فَإِنْ كَانَ مُؤْمِنًا كَانَ اللَّهُ مَعْهُ Therefore, if this ill person is a Muslim, Allah will be with him. Ibn Qayyim goes on to say, perhaps this is also the secret why the dua, the supplication, the requests 
of the mazloom, the oppressed, are answered. And as saim the one who is fasting, is answered. And the one who is musafir, traveling, is answered. What is the common theme between all of these three? Who can tell us? The hardship, which brings about what, Ya Abdul Hai? The, the topic of ours, the humility, huh? The common theme with these three people, why the Prophet ﷺ said their request will be answered by Allah every time, is because the common theme is humility. Their hearts are broken to Allah. Arrogance is gone. They feel like a slave. Look at the mazloom, the oppressed. One of the three. He's sad. His rights have been usurped. He feels as the being the subject of injustice. His heart is therefore broken. Thus Allah is with him. Ya Allah. As for the one who is fasting, his shahwa, his temptations have been dampened down now. He's hungry, he's thirsty, he's weak, he can barely get off the chair. Allah therefore is with him because his heart is broken. And the one who is traveling, he's away from his wife, away from her husband, away from his children, away from his loved ones. His heart is broken, he wants to be with them. Therefore it's not about being hungry and thirsty as Arjan, Ustad Arjan said. It's not about just traveling or about being oppressed while your dua will be answered it's because the heart is broken are you with me brothers are you with me sisters are you seeing how much Allah Ar-Rahman loves this act of worship of humbling yourself to him 